Good morning, John Glenn. Today is Wednesday, January 5th, 2023. I'm Caleb, and this is your view from the Falcon's Nest. A special Falcon shout out to all those celebrating January birthdays during the first half of the month. That includes Mr. Simpson and Miss Rummel and Miss King. Um, students celebrating are Isabel Alsop, uh, Abriel Baxter, Logan Bryant, Haley Buford, uh, Blazer Dare, Bane Fowler, Emily Frick, Carlos Galvez, Aiden Hathaway, Relay Kepperling, Leanna Lardino, Chase Miller, Peyton Thomas, and Caitlin Vermillier. Buffalo Bills player Damar Hamlin collapsed and went into cardiac arrest after colliding with a Bengals player during Monday night's NFL game. Cardiologists have expressed online their belief that Hamlin suffered from what is known as commotio cordis, a potentially fatal low, mid, low mild chest wall impact. WVP is reporting that two local North Liberty nonprofits are seeing an increase in people signing up for heart screenings. Teresa Mago of the Zach Mago Foundation has partnered with Julie West, who started Pay F- Play for Jake, creating Team 265. In 2013, Julie West lost her son, Jake, to an undetected heart issue. Five years later, Teresa's son, Zach, died from an enlarged heart. Teresa said the foundation started as a way to prevent tragedies like what happened to her son. Team 265 goes to schools to provide comprehensive tests, like an ECG and a limited echo to rule out conditions that could cause the child to go into sudden cardiac arrest. They also provide height and weight measurements and blood pressure readings. The only way to detect a heart condition is through heart screening. According to the National Library of Medicine, 20,000 children suffer from cardiac arrest annually due to undetected heart abnormalities. Initiatives like Team 265 help prevent future casualties by catching conditions early on. Team 265 has monthly screenings at the Walkerton Youth Building. Next event is Saturday, February 4th. That's everything we have here. Now the weather with Canyon. For today, it's going to be snowy, degrees of 36, we are fair 34, wind speed is going to be southwest, 9 miles per hour. For the city forecast, for Friday, it's going to be a high of 35, low of 23, cloudy. For Saturday, it's going to be a high of 37, cloudy, and low of 25. And for Sunday, it's going to be a high of 36, cloudy again, with a low of 26. Now, sports with Nathan. The John Glenn Wrestlers hosted the Marion Knights on Wednesday night, last night, winning 71-6. to in the final NIC dual meet of the season. The Falcons extend their season record to 26-3 and on the year. The Falcons are in action next Tuesday at Kankakee Valley. The winners for each weight class are 106 Austin Pranger, 113 Brody King, 120 Walter Drews, 126 Bentley, Whit- Bentley Whitmer, 138 Brady Hesch, 145 Eli Schultz, 152 Charlie Hill, 160 Sam Strange, 170 d- was a double forfeit, 182 Mason Cobelt, 195 Aiden Smigelski, 220 Eli Wallace, and 285 Kim Hardesty. In Indiana girls high school hoops, there is a new name atop the Indiana Max Preps ratings. The Zionsville Lady Eagles are number one. Twin Lakes is the highest ranked 3A team. The Lady Indians, the Lady Indians are 16 and 0 and ranked sixth. South Bend Washington, which is 17 and 0, is ranked seventh. Now to lunch with Canyon. For today, we have me, cool dogs, chicken Caesar wrap. Baked beans, creamy coleslaw, carrot coins, applesauce, and variety of fresh fruit. That's all I have for today. Falcons have an amazing day.